Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and uh, welcome to this uh, little special video. I know it's been a while since I've done something on this channel. Uh, please forgive the crudeness of it and everything. I'm still working on Kong, and I'm still... it's getting there. We're getting closer to the end, and uh, it's really exciting. And I've got a bunch of other projects I've been working on and so on, but uh, that's not the point. Um, today we uh, lost another great legend in the world of film and uh, television and everything. And it seems I'm always doing tributes like this um, to people, and I don't want that to be a habit, but this one in particular I gotta talk about. Um, that is uh, to one recently passed away, John Gullerman. Uh, he is a really, not that famous nowadays, filmmaker, director, but uh, he directed films like The Towering Inferno and uh, some films for Dino De Laurentiis. Uh, one of my personal favorite films, he, which he directed, was uh, the 1976 King Kong, uh, which is actually my all-time favorite film. And um, a lot of people have 50-50 opinions on the film in general. But, um, while I may talk about, uh, 70, Kong 76 again in this, uh, video, I do want to just talk about John as a person and his legends and, like, his, his, his history and what, and how he was a comp an accomplished filmmaker. Now, keep in mind, I've never seen The Towering Inferno, which is definitely on my list of movies to watch, given I'm a, now kind of a fan of his, but, um, like, I mainly will focus on Kong here, but he seems, the way... I can describe Gullerman is that he is a pro. When he was shooting, like I've read so many books on the 76 King Kong and how um, how passionate and how dedicated he was to the picture and um, getting it released on that Christmas date because you gotta remember when this movie came out, um, they were in a battle with Universal, Paramount was on a battle with Universal at the time and uh, they announced their movie was gonna come out Christmas of 1976 and they have and they haven't even started filming and it's January 76 so they literally have a year to film this project and it's a something like that is a huge undertaking uh, to do especially with something like Kong and especially back then that was a big deal and they were spending so much money on it and everything and while Dino De Laurentiis is basically the guy we know who made the film a lot of people don't know much about John and um, the way I can describe it is just the way he shot that film, oh my god. So that, I seriously think Kong 76 has some of the best cinematography I've ever seen in a film. Uh, mostly due to the fact that it's all in a widescreen uh, format, almost like a panorama widescreen process. And the way he shot it is huge, massive. Um, every frame in that movie is beautiful to look at. It's um, And just the scope of everything. And that's what I appreciate John doing the most, is um, giving Kong that overall scale and size that um, that really at that point Kong had not reached in terms of uh, remakes and everything. And um, But I've been reading a lot about him. I've been reading uh, books on the making of Kong 76. I've been reading journals. I've been reading everything, interviews with the cast. And they... He seemed like a really nice guy, um, deep down. Um, there were actually times during the shoot he apparently, um, he was so frustrated with getting this thing out by Christmas and he was so tight on schedule. He wanted everything to keep going. He didn't want anything to stop. And whenever you could tell he was not in a good mood, he would have his pipe and he would just clench it down like, Arr! like his, he'd be grinding his teeth on the pipe. And he always wore a wool cap, but you could tell that when his pipe when his pipe was grinding on his teeth, you know he wasn't real. He was really serious of what was going on, and there have been talk that like I have heard there have been outbursts by him um, when shots aren't going well. He did apparently quit the film and then came back because just th that's how frustrating this movie was for him, and he just um, how should I put it? Like he, but he no matter how frustrated he was, he wanted to keep going with the project. Apparently, he and Dino like kind of never really got along uh with each other uh during the shoot and uh but just the way he shot that movie and just the way he directed it the actors everything was beyond superb beyond superb and just the way he, he shot it now i have seen his other film king kong lives which a lot of people again hate 
I have a soft spot for, and you can tell it's a little bit more of a low-budget film, but still, Gullerman really tried to make the best film that he could, and, um, and you could tell he was, and I think actually King Kong Lives was like his last film. After that, he kind of just said, fuck, fuck the industry, I'm retiring, and what's interesting afterwards is that nobody knew what happened to him. Like, he was kind of like, like, after Co King Kong lives and he retired, he never knew he retired, but he apparently just disappeared from the face of the earth. Even I couldn't track down the guy. I looked everywhere for where this guy went, and nobody had a straight answer. Um, and just hearing of his death, um, just kind of like, it's kind of a sad day, but you can also tell, you know, he died peacefully. The guy was 89, for Christ's sakes. He was 89, going into 90 in a few weeks. Um, but, and he started really early in the business, and he's, he was a really good filmmaker, and probably one of the best in, like, this in a long time. So, if you guys have not heard of John Gullerman, I recommend looking at his work, recommend The Towering Inferno, even though I haven't seen it, and most definitely recommend the two Kong films he directed, and uh, just try to get past why people think it sucks and just see it for its own thing and see it for what the guy was trying to produce what Dino was trying to produce what uh, Gullerman was trying to direct and come up with something really great um but yeah it's just kind of a sad loss especially for us Kong fans it's a real it's it's kind of a suck loss because like you know he was one of the creators of Kong so um yeah I just thought I'd do this little video as a tribute to him and just his uh talents as a filmmaker and um, hopefully they will pass on to the new generation and hopefully more people will see his work. So uh, yeah, uh, rest in peace, John Gullerman. Um, see you around, man.